Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Ali Reza and in this video we will look into a DNA sequencing result and we also use a tool named Finch TV to assess the quality of sequencing. We will also uh, find the source of the sequence data. So be with me in this video. Okay, here is the sequenced results of a DNA sample. I am told that uh, this sequence belongs to a microorganisms, a fungi, I think. I don't know. Uh, I will look into the quality of the sequencing by Finch TV. When you get the results of the sequencing, it's uh, generally, generally accompanied by uh, uh, some files like .ab1 and uh, sequencing with uh, .seq results which you can also edit it with the notepad uh, or any other text editing tools uh, sometimes you may also given by a pdf file which includes sequ uh, sequencing intensities of the fluorescent dyes or big dyes uh, in this video i will look into one of the sequencing results named 1-f as uh, you first open a sequencing results uh, with Finch TV, you will see a pop-up windows. It's uh, comprised of uh, almost all the tools you need to trim and analyzing your sequencing. At the left of the uh, viewing side, you are provided with a vertical scale. You can enlarge your view or narrow it down and also a horizontal scale which you can also uh, see the peaks separately and more precisely uh, this is the toolbar and here we have also some tools like uh, standard view wrap view uh, which also provide us a good uh, view of our sequencing data here i can also hide or uh, see the positioning of the nucleotide sequences i can also uh, remove or show the uh, sequencing result i mean uh, bus pairs nucleotides uh, the nucleotides in the sequencing always show in four different color red for timing it's always the same in the sequencing results I have the quality of our sequencing here show by Q and it's also uh, defined here in the scale bar. Almost similar to the next generation sequencing Fred scores here we have also uh, quality values. Uh, let me first adjust the viewing of our data. I am going to use the wrapped view, change the horizontal scale to see the peaks well separated and distributed in the review. Okay, in the first 20 or 18 to 20 storage of uh, nucleotides, we will see some non symmetric separated peaks of our nucleotides. Uh, this is resulted by high quantities of our fluorescent big guy which uh, may mask the, the exact nucleotide storage. We will ignore the first storage of our sequencing and also in the uh, close to the end of our sequencing or at the end of the sequencing we also have a relatively low amount of big dye fluorescence dyes which is overlapped with our nucleotide. So uh, ignore or discard this uh, storage of nucleotide at the end of the sequencing results I just uh, select and delete at the right of uh, which I highlighted in blue you will see that uh, some of the sequencing data like uh, guanine and thymine in here are uh, overlap with each other due to the low amount of the fluorescence dyes and overlapping of nucleotides in this region so um, the sequencing results is pretty good and the peaks are uh, separated the distance between the nucleotide is very important they are must be similar as you can see the t to g distance is uh, quite similar to g c c to g and g to a peaks are uh, started and ended before the next nucleotide fluorescence peak is uh, started so I feel that this sequencing is 
quite reliable and we can proceed. So, for uh, starting the discard of our Nucleotide do not meet our requirements, I rather to use quality scores. The quality scores of 10, which means uh, we should expect uh, one Nucleotide mis mismatch of 100 boss pairs, I choose it as our cutoff in here. I remove this storage of Nucleotide at the 5 prime end of our sequencing results. Uh, when I click on the bar in here, it shows that it's called 1 in 19 and Q or quality 31, which is very good. Previous nucleosis other than 18 is Q8, which I do not uh, want it, and therefore I decide to remove this storage of boss uh, 18 nucleosis before the quanine with the quality of 18. So hit in delete and let's trim the end of your sequencing uh, as you see some nucleotides are about to overlap with, it, with each other like uh, guanine and uh, nucleotide behind it timing and one may uh, one may think that the timing is an another uh, nucleotide in here which is um, maybe correct but the uh, timing in here with the quality of 11 is also uh, in the range of our threshold so I so I choose that timing must be in our sequencing result and the guanine uh, is also correct in here we I am going to insert before boss pair so if you want to uh, insert a nucleotide after one nucleotide like here a guanine i choose the next nucleotide right click and the insert or control b uh, and it stands for any of nucleotides other than timing guanine and citizen so i clicked on n and type uh, t okay uh, okay after i put the timing nucleotide after the guanine i think i'm done here so i select and delete the other nucleotide at the three prime end of our sequencing results so let me take them all and press delete okay here is our nucleotide stretch of a sequencing result which is reliable for the continuing of our study so here is another um, results of higher higher intensity of uh, fluorescent dye in here. As you can see, the adenine peaks are mask each other's uh, did not separated from each other's. You should decide which is there are three adenine here, and also as you can see the distance between seen and adenine is quite long and there might be one or two adenine here there might be another nucleotide mask behind the adenine intensity which is very high some nucleotides might be masked by their uh, lower intensities so I decide to, to do not do anything with these three adenine here but what we can do here is use nucleotide blast uh, by nucleotide blast, we can do some uh, some works in here. We can determine the source of our nucleotide sequences. Uh, we can determine the, if there is a, if this is the coding sequence of a gene. Uh, we can determine the exact gene. Uh, if uh, we are doing some uh, mutation study. Uh, or phylogenic study, we can also determine the uh, single nucleotide polymorphies or a SNP in here, or some or determine some variants or variations in our nucleotide sequences. And we also can use BLAST to determine the coding sequences span of our sequence data. So let's see uh, what organism this sequence is belonging to. What we are going to do in here is to use one of the Finch TV options provided in the edit menu, Blast Sequence. Uh, you can choose one of the four provided options like Ctrl Shift B for Blast and Nucleotide Blast, which we are going to 
used in here or blast x4 translated the nucleotide sequence to its coding protein i choose blast and then cbs blast will pop up in the new window okay as you can see my sequence is not entered into the query sequence i cleared the entry going back to the finish tv file export dns sequence fasta file i named it uh, one f and one trimmed which i have trimmed the sequence saved it okay let's copy and paste it into the inter -query, query sequence okay there are uh, three different algorithm of blast uh, which i am not going to actually describe it in this video which is very long uh, but simply we may use height similar sequence or mega blast we may choose mega blast algorithm it provides us a higher seeding option to only uh, blast our sequence against high similar sequences in the gene bank database or more dissimilar sequences for uh, for creative species sequencing if you want to see your sequence data is also um, is also existed in another organisms and some out similar sequences if in the case or sequencing results do not have enough quality so uh, as my sequencing result has high quality and also uh, i have been told that this belongs to an a now narc organism so i choose high similar sequence and i also wonder my results provided in the new windows here is a result as my uh, as my colleague said to me, it, this uh, sequence data was belonged to a microorganisms, a fungi, and we can see its name is Candida paropsilosis, uh, if I am spelling correctly, and it has a 99% query cover, which I am uh, telling you about it, and the e-value or expected value of zero, which means that we have uh, no mismatching by chance okay and the uh, identity is 100 percent so of 99 uh, 99 percent of our query which might be uh, 548 or 549 is identical with 100 percent to the nl1 large subunit removal rna of uh, this entry in here which is highlighted by this oxygen number so 99% of our 5551 nucleotide is identical 100% to what is in this oxygen number which is NL1 large subunit so it is uh, not a coding sequence it is a uh, as I can say it's a ribosomal RNA which is not coding so we uh, may not see any amino acid in here let uh, me just select the first oxygen number in here and select alignments okay or query is what we have inputted into the blast which is our sequence data and the subject and uh, here as you can see the first nucleotide in our subject which, which starts with guanine cytosine guanine guanine uh, is matched to the elements nucleotide of the candida paraplosis and it also extends to the 549 as you may recall our query was 551 and here we can see 549 so it uh, defined what uh, is the 99 percent and if i go back to the finch tv uh, let me see what was uh, the end of our sequencing or se uh, our results uh, end with tct and let me check it in here what was the last nucleotide stretch of our data it was uh, t c t okay so the two end nucleotide which i uh, which i agreed to be in the result uh, wasn't actually there so it's because our a uh, reduced amount of um, big diphorescent in here overlapped with the end of our sequencing 
so I assume that our sequencing is very good I will uh, delete the warning and timing in the end of our sequencing result I am going to save it and use it for the gene submission so in the next video we will have uh, let me see three sequencing data to submit in the RNA gene submission system so I will see you in the next episode